Hey folks, it's Ray from DCMamerica.com here. Today I've got the new DJI Spark alongside the existing DJI Mavic, and I'm here to show you how well it works in high wind conditions. Uh, so the last two days it's been pretty windy out here. Uh, right now it's roughly between 20 and 30 kilometers an hour. Uh, it gusts a little bit higher from time to time. Uh, so that's uh, roughly like 15 to 20-ish or so uh, miles an hour. Yesterday it was up to 40, um, and so I'll show you some of that video in a little bit from what yesterday's looked like. Uh, but I wanna kinda walk through how these two work uh, in terms of just being stable in higher wind conditions and what the camera looks like and all that kind of goodness. We're going to start off with the Spark here. Um, I've got them both uh, again just on the ground using their standard roll controllers so we'll start this one off real quick. And there we go. Up in the air and you can see it immediately goes left because that's the way the wind is but then it stabilizes pretty quick. I'm pulling it back over here and going to put it on top of the remote control. There we go. Or top of this little box there. I'm just going to leave it there for a second. Move it a little bit more to the right so it's over out of the way there. Um, and it should stay there just nice and still. And it's gonna do that using the optical image or downward uh, optical image based recognition. So it's actually looking at the ground right now and it's keeping track that way as opposed to by GPS. Uh, so when it's under a certain level, it'll do that. We'll go ahead and bring the Mavic up now here as well. So here we go. You can see that one's got a little more stability coming up, but I mean, otherwise they're, they're pretty darn similar here. Uh, and it's staying right above its bag as well. Um, it's bumping around a bit. Uh, you see that one a bit more visibly bumping around that one for no particular purpose, but uh, they're staying exactly where I put them. So I'm not touching either of them um, from a control standpoint and they're, they're perfectly fine. So again, initial stability is good. You know, one of the things I showed yesterday is that when this one was getting really, really high wind conditions, um, it was tilting the entire uh, aircraft, but the actual gimbal and the camera system kept the image stable. Uh, and there's something interesting to note about that. On the Mavic over here, um, it has a three axis gimbal, whereas on the Spark, it only has a two axis gimbal and actually fakes the third axis uh, by taking a crop out of a much larger image. Um, so the image sensor on this is actually very close to that of the Mavic, but they're only giving you a 1080p image. And they do what uh, GoPro and Garmin and others do, where they take a much higher resolution image in 1080p and they use stabilization within that to go ahead and keep the image stable. That's how they get away with using a much smaller gimbal on the Spark and still getting really clean images. Um, so let's talk about flyability here as I put sand all over this thing. Uh, it's pretty unstable, so I'm not in sport mode yet. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, you can see, you know, it's smooth as I fly around. There's no issues. The, the imagery looks really nice and pretty right now. Um, if I turn here, you can even see the wind flags off in the distance. Uh, and again, they're sticking straight out. Um, so at this point, you know, I'm, I'm pointing down the beach. Everything looks nice. Uh, the wind is definitely higher or stronger up there. You can see that a little bit when I get the two side by side in a moment. Uh, you'll see them start to tilt and stuff, but overall no problems at all. It's, it feels smooth. Um, the wind's kicking up again right now. So sorry if that's tough on the microphone. I've got all these mics here, but sometimes it's really just hard to hear as to what's going on. So I'm going to place this back over here real quick. Bring it back over to me. Yep. Sorry. So there we go. Put them right there for right now. Now we'll grab the Mavic and I'll kind of demonstrate uh, the successfulness of that and how easy it is to use. Certainly a faster drone in non-sport mode than the Spark is. Um, you know, they're faster by specs all around. Uh, but stability-wise, there's no problems as well here. I mean, this is all quite nice. Uh, no issues. It's very, very smooth. You know, the images look great. Make sure we're all focused there for you. And if I kind of just get up nice and close to this guy right now, See, where is he on the screen here? There we go. And it's kind of fun. So I've just got high velocity wind warnings on this. I uh, haven't got one of that yet. Um, but again, no, no real problems there. Uh, speaking of high velocity wind warnings with the Mavic, if you haven't seen my Mavic and Phantom uh, 4 video for high velocity winds, I did some testing this winter up in the mountains, crazy high winds um, to the point where even in sport mode, this thing would struggle to go like a mile an hour forward. Um, really, really cool stuff just to show you that. And the reason I did that, and the reason I'm doing this is a lot of times people talk about these drones not being designed for conditions like this, windier conditions, when in reality they're just fine, as you're seeing right here, uh, no problems whatsoever. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead now and turn this uh, one towards the, uh, around here to the Mavic, just for the fun of it. And there we go. And you can see it down there as I go down just a little bit right there, um, but cool stuff. And now I'm gonna go and pop this into sport mode because that's what's way more fun. And then just uh, zoom away. And again, no problems with stability standpoint. Get the gimbal facing up a little bit there. 
I mean, it's very, 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 very quick. Okay, so at this point, that is working just fine. We all know how sport mode works in the Mavic, but I'll do two seconds just to show that for fun. Uh, pop that into sport mode as well. And you can see, again, no issues with that. Everything's very, very stable right there. You know, I can whip around. Uh, everything's fine. No problems there in the wind. Um, again, we've, we've all seen the Mavic and how that works as well in the past, so I'm not really going to belabor that too much. Let's go ahead and get these things landed because I'm getting a bit of a low wind warning right now, or a high wind, sorry, a low battery warning right now. So I'm going to bring it back in. I'm going to pull it out of sport mode now. And we'll see if we can plop it right back down on top of the little case there. It's a bit tricky because the winds are definitely picking up and gusting right now compared to earlier. Let's see. I see it bouncing a little bit there. Let's see if I can get right over it, a little bit forward. Boom, straight on the case right as the low battery warning kicks in. Do the same now for the Mavic. Am I in sport mode? Yep, let's take that off just to minimize things going wrong here. There we go, straight onto the backpack. Um, that was definitely a bit more stable. There's no doubt about that when it comes to getting that landed. Uh, that was a much cleaner experience, but it's also a bigger target too. Uh, makes that a lot easier as well. So overall, there you go. Uh, do not forget to hit the like button down below as well as the subscribe button. There's plenty more sports technology stuff coming as well as a bunch more Spark stuff. Um, as you saw here, windy conditions, really no problem at all. Also, do not forget to check out the link at the bottom uh, for my full in-depth review coming up here shortly on the Spark. Uh, so that'll have tons more detail. Uh, and that's a post with uh, photos and videos and all sorts of text goodness uh, that describes this in much more detail and some of the little gotchas and caveats and cool things that you may not have heard otherwise. Have a good one.